Hi everyone and welcome to Google Cloud Next 22. Take your career to the next level with a Google Cloud certification. My name is Magda and I'm joined today by Minal. We are really delighted to present this content to you. Let's take a look at our agenda for today. First, let's review the Google Cloud skills landscape. Then, let's uh, have a look at the Google Cloud credentials and certifications specifically. Then we are going to hear from Minal and uh, learn all about tips uh, from the expert about certification readiness. And then finally, we will uh, wrap up with some special offers. So let's get started with the overview of Google Cloud skills. Did you know that 85% of businesses will adopt a cloud first principle by 2025? Moreover, 80% of IT leaders feel that they have a lack of skills and knowledge among their employees. Meanwhile, the future of work is in the cloud. So we encourage you to demonstrate your cloud knowledge and stay ahead of the curve with Google Cloud credentials and certifications. You can literally stand out with Google Cloud certification. An interesting data point, 87% of hiring managers value hands-on experience and certifications over a university degree when evaluating candidates. And 82% of hiring managers say that cloud certifications make a candidate more attractive. And we are really delighted to review the impact of our Google Cloud certification program. So our candidates say 78% of them feel more confident in professional future. 82% can prove cloud skill competency to recruiters. 83% feel that their resume is more attractive. And then finally, 85% feel more confident in cloud skills. Our learning options here at Google Cloud support you on your certification journey and beyond. So you can start with learning, then um, definitely engage in practice and hands-on experience. We have all kinds of certification of readiness uh, with skill badges as milestones on your journey for role-based -based certifications. Finally, you can certify and then all the options to keep your learning going and your skills current beyond certifications. With regards to building your cloud skills, our catalog caters to all learning styles with over 700 different pieces of learning content delivered in multiple formats. So you can choose from on-demand training, hands-on learning with labs and quests. You can attend in-person training or engage in gamified learning. So now let's take a look at the Google Cloud credentials and certifications. We have different levels of credentials. So upon completion of your learning, your training, you are likely to receive a completion badge. Then when you engage in hands-on um, experience, and complete a number of quests with a final assessment challenge lab, you will earn your skill badge. And then finally, our Google Cloud certified program um, that uh, helps you validate your skills and knowledge at this next level of, of proficiency. So taking a look at our Google Cloud certifications portfolio, you'll notice a variety of exams. Our fundamental level exams, uh, exam with the cloud digital leader, the associate cloud engineer, and then the remaining exams job role specific at the professional level. So you might wonder which Google Cloud certification is right for me? Where should I begin? So we hope uh, you'll find uh, this resource helpful. It's also available on our website. What is the profile of the candidate for each of the exam tiers? And then what uh, is the assessment area for each of the exams, whether that's the cloud digital leader, more for the business audience who are 
really interested in learning the language of cloud, cloud engineer for technical individuals who work hands-on uh, with the cloud to deploy and configure, manage cloud solutions, and then finally our uh, professional level exams for experienced technical professionals. We also have uh, this um, um, available for you in the uh, sketchnote format. So if you wonder which Google Cloud certification is right for me, this resource might be very helpful for you personally to take you on the journey of selecting where do I begin. So you'll find this as a resource attached to this session as well, and we hope you enjoy it. So what are some of the benefits of certifications that uh, you will enjoy? First, distinguish yourself with a Google Cloud Certified Badge, NIA Certificate. For our professional level exams, um, receive exclusive Google Cloud Certified merchandise. And then for all exams, you also receive digital assets. You can network and exchange ideas in the Google Cloud Certified community. And then finally, special recognition at select events. So if you're ready to get started, we invite you to invest in Google Cloud credentials and certifications today. And I'm really delighted now to welcome Minal, and we are going to hear from her all things around certification readiness and the tips uh, from, um, from her as, as the expert. Welcome, Minal. Thank you so much, Magda, for having me. I'm super happy to share the tips and the tricks to prepare for certification. Thank you so much. Thank you. So the first question, Minal, please tell us a little bit about your role here at Google Cloud and your experience uh, with helping candidates prepare for certification exams. Sure. So I joined Google Cloud uh, almost five years back as a technical trainer, and my specialization is data and machine learning. Now. As a trainer, I basically deliver a variety of courses which comes under data and machine learning. And um, typically, all my participants ask me a question, hey, Meenal, can you tell us how can we prepare for certification? So that is something which I always find exciting in each and every class. Recently, I have also taken over as a training manager for Japan and Asia Pacific and certifications is still a prime focus area for me. So let me share some of the things which really help people in getting certified. First and most important thing, anyone who is preparing for certification needs to really think from that role's perspective. For example, I want to appear for professional data engineering ex engineering exam, uh, and the role involved here is data engineer. Now, I really need to start thinking like a data engineer in order to understand the questions and in order to come to a correct solution. Now, second most important thing, there is no one-to-one -one relationship between a particular course and Google Cloud certification. This is a big myth, I may say. So everyone who is preparing for certification need to really complete uh, an exhaustive study of Google Cloud with respect to theoretical concept, with respect to hands-on implementation, and the reference architectures or reference solutions which are shared on cloud.google.com. Once the candidate or once the participant has uh, exhausted knowledge or thorough understanding about the technology which is working behind scene of Google Cloud, it will be a really simple thing to clear the certification. So let me start about uh, how one can initiate this particular process. Now, let us consider we are preparing for professional data engineering exam. Now, there is a certification page for this particular certification, and this page is going to be our always to be referred kind of documentation. Now, the first thing that I always recommend participants to go through the exam objectives. These objectives necessarily gives us idea about the assessment criteria and how we should actually understand the assessment parameters. For example, uh, in data engineering exam, there is one objective which is called as building storage 
the storage uh, solution for the problem statement. Now, when we start reading about this particular objective, um, we find subtopics given like, okay, making yourself uh, you know, familiar with all storage technologies which are available on Google Cloud, then understanding the various features which are being offered by these technologies, and then uh, actually deciding which situation, which technology can be used and something like that. Now, once we start going through these objectives, they actually help us in analyzing and understanding, okay, what is the expectation over here and how can we actually start coming to a conclusion? So first and most important point, um, go to your exam guide and start reading through the exam objectives. Second most important thing, in your exam guide, it is also mentioned that what all activities, what all courses, labs are to be completed as a part of preparation. I sincerely request everyone to complete all those activities to gain full confidence about your preparedness for the examination. Now, typically a uh, couple of courses are mentioned there and you can always complete those courses by attending a virtual instructor-led class or you may go to our on-demand portals and you can go through those courses. Then comes most important point, implementing learned theoretical concepts uh, in a hands-on lab. Now, we always recommend completing as many labs possible from our um, on-demand portals, like say Skills Boost, where 700 plus labs are available and they cover pretty much everything required. Once we complete all these hands-on activities, we actually feel pretty well confident about the preparedness. And then I also recommend people start going through documentation. Documentation explain us the magic working behind Google Cloud. And uh, once we start going through documentation, we actually start understanding certain concepts which are not clear so far in this journey. Uh, along with the documentation, going through the solution pages, how to's and tutorials is another important aspect of readiness or preparedness, I may say. Uh, solutions give us clarity about, okay, certain companies use these products and this is how their use case actually looks like, okay? And that starts uh, expanding our horizons about the things that we are learning. And then, while you are doing all these things, there is also practice exam available, which is static in nature, but it gives us pretty fair idea about our preparedness about the examination. Um, I typically take this sample exam at least twice during my study tour, and that helped me in understanding which areas still need study and still need some deep dive to be done. So, Pretty simple process. Uh, if you follow all these steps, it will be really simple and enjoyable journey for all of you. Uh, trust me on that. So I think that is all which I would like to share here as main tips. Super helpful. Thank you so much, Minal. Um, any other things you'd like to share with uh, our candidates who are considering any certification? Yes, for sure. So first and most important thing, um, don't think getting certified is a super tough job. Actually, it is a very simple activity if you follow a particular discipline. I always recommend um, my participants to um, devote at least one hour to one hour, 30 minutes each day for next four weeks to six weeks duration. And I, I request them to follow all the study material which I mentioned a few minutes back uh, really sincerely. A uh, lot of reading, a lot of hands-on practice gives us a very good confidence and we can certainly clear uh, the certification in the given duration. Okay, and most important thing, please, please, please remember there is no one-to-one -one mapping between a course and a certification. Google Cloud certifications always check a candidate's uh, knowledge on exhaustive level, on thorough understanding level. So I wish all of you a very best luck, best of luck, and um, you know, go ahead, 
achieve your certification share it on linkedin and i will give you a thumbs up that's it thank you that's wonderful thank you again we now for all the great tips and and wisdom and, and knowledge really a, a pleasure so uh, with that uh, it's time for us to wrap up and i have an exciting uh, offer to share with you for anyone who'd like to continue your cloud learning journey first complete hashtag cloud google cloud challenges today and you can find all the information about this challenge uh, uh, in our developer zone innovators hive um, website for our new learners we invite you to begin your 30 days no cost training trial so you can access all the great materials we've uh, talked about here uh, at no cost uh, so visit cloudskillsboost.google slash subscriptions and then finally uh, very excited uh, for this announcement here at um, cloud next start your google cloud skills boost annual subscription with a variety of really exciting benefits around this so i strongly encourage ev everyone to consider and uh, and take a look at, at this new offer and it's also available under cloudskillsboost.google slash subscriptions so whichever option is best for you please take action now engage there's so much opportunity around learning and earning your credentials and certifications and we are really wishing you all the best around this uh, journey and with that a big thank you to all of you for joining us today uh, wishing you a very enjoyable google cloud next 22 thank you minel again and again everyone take care and uh, it's been wonderful to share this content with you bye bye